Hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide, and I'm going to show you a couple of my record bags here. Um, you know, I think everyone needs a record bag or two, depending on the purpose. I've got several, but I'm going to show you a couple of cool ones today. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe one of these will fit into your lifestyle uh, nicely. Now, uh, I've got three bags here, and I'm going to show them all to you really quick. Uh, first off, here are the two bags that I used to use quite often. This is my uh, travel bag. It's very padded. It's by Shure. Uh, but uh, there's other brands out there that are very similar. It's, uh, it's, it's quite padded, so, you know, you can stick a lot of records in there. I think I got somewhere around 40 or 50 records in there at one point. And I've used this before as my carry-on luggage for a flight. So I've been able to stuff this full of records and take it onto an airplane, ideally uh, with an airline that isn't fiducious about weighing the bags or anything like that. And uh, you could stuff a bunch of records in here and get them on a flight home. If not, if you're dealing with an airline that's very cheap and looking to save uh, <laughs> or charge you for every ounce you bring on the plane, you could always fill this full of records and then put it in your check-in luggage, seal it up, and I've done that as well, and the records arrive just fine. Now, uh, this also has a couple of extra little pouches here, which I put things like... Uh, you know, uh, luggage scales and things. Oh, what's this? Oh, my, my <laughs> business cards. Very nice. So, yeah, this has been to several record shops and uh, record shows. And uh, there it is. Sure, you can see all the uh, probably, I think, ice cream or some sort of stain on it. Who knows what that is? I'm sure it's uh, some sort of food or drink related. Um, this is also my simple bag. All right. Then I got this from uh, Rasputin's Records. Uh, a shop in Northern California, very basic bag, you know, it holds about 12 records or so, 10 or 12 records, and this is traditionally my walk-around bag. If I'm going to a record fair or a record shop and something, I just throw this in the car and I carry this around and uh, it's, it's very easy, right? Uh, but very basic strap, it starts to weigh on you after a while because there's no special padding or anything, so I used to use this bag quite a lot until I discovered... This one, this is the Seams Easy uh, Record Tote. And let me show you a couple of really cool things about this one. This is my new standard tote. And uh, I'll, I'll, give, oh, geez, I'll give you a couple of quick highlights here. A couple things that I really like about this. First off, it's got a padded uh, strap. So it's a little bit nicer on your shoulder if you're carrying it around. Uh, and uh, it doesn't weigh so hard. It kind of distributes the weight quite nicely. It holds about 15, 20 records, uh, whereas this other tote holds maybe half that, a little bit over that, so I can stuff a few more records in there. Um, but uh, what else? The strap also clips down. Now let me show you what that looks like here. Okay, you've got this little fixer thing here. And you've got this little clip here. And I'll show you what that looks like once it's clipped down. And there you go. I've strapped in the edge of the strap here. So you no longer have to carry it on your shoulder. It now turns into like a little itty bitty kind of suitcase, tote bag. So if you want to just carry it with your hand, you want to kind of switch back and forth between hanging it on your shoulder and carry it in your hand. Uh, it helps you last longer throughout the day, which I found is is nice. Is you, you vary the position of the record bag so you distribute the weight around and you don't get a sore back the next day like people my age do. Now, one really cool and unique thing about this bag, as you can see, is this display, okay? Here on the Rasputin's bag, it's just a design. You know, it's for the record store. It's what it's made for, right? But here, you could actually display your favorite album. So let's take a look at what see. You could just stuff it inside here. If you take out a record, say, oh, this is an Art Blakey. I'll go ahead and sling that in here. Let me see if I can do this one-handed even. Oh, can I do this one-handed? Oh, I think I can. All right. You stick one, stick it in there. Oh. Ideally, you're doing this without holding the camera. And voila, you have your favorite record there. Now, uh, what would you use that for? Uh, who knows? Just to kind of show off, maybe. Uh, you find something cool at a record fair and you want to show it off. Or if you have it for sale, you can stick it in there with a little for sale sign on it. And then people can bother you with it if they want to buy it. Now, let me show you one other kind of interesting use for this. 
uh, because if you're at a record fair, quite often you're looking for different records. You've got an idea of what it is you're looking to find. Well, you know, you can also put a note in there. And uh, let me stick that in there. Stick the note in there. And then, voila, I am looking for... And you can have a little printout of the different records, the different wish lists that you want to get uh, while you're at the record fair or the record shop. And then, you know, that reminds you what it is you're looking for, the stuff on your wish list. Or it'll also show off to other people while you walk around like, oh, you're looking for these records. Oh, I've got a black flag, my war. Hey, come over here. I'll, uh, I'll make you a deal on mine. So there it is, the Seems Easy Record Tote. Now, you could find this at SeemsEasy.com. It's S-E-A-M-Z, uh, E-A-Z-Y, right there, SeemsEasy.com. Uh, they are also in a bunch of different record shops as well. So there it is, the Seems Easy Record Tote, uh, my new go-to bag. There we go. All right. Make sure to subscribe to the Vinyl Guide podcast, www.thevinylguide.com. Of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, just keep on rocking like docking. There we go. All right. Till we talk next time, keep spinning. Cheers. <laughs>